Hello, I'm Craig Schuler, a solution architect with Synergist Software. In this video, I'm going to show you how the ADEPT solution can create a central repository for documents in your enterprise. As users start working with the ADEPT platform, they'll interact with a couple of different interfaces. For CAG users, we have an interface we call the Task Pane. This interface allows AutoCAD, Inventor, and SOLIDWORKS users to access documents in the ADEPT vault directly from the CAD application. From this interface, users can search for drawings, copy and make new drawings, and create the CAD references that are needed. Once a drawing is found, the user can easily drag the drawing into an editor, check it out, and start working on the drawing in the CAD tool. Here is our browser web-based interface. Through this thin client, users can create documents like Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PDFs, and pictures. Yeah, simple documents. They can create them, put them through a workflow approval process, and also just consume documents if they need to for reference purposes. Within the ADEPT interface, there are many different ways users can search and find documents. One way is full text searching. If a user types a word or a string in the upper left hand corner, ADEPT will return a list of results of documents that contain that string. The ADEPT solution searched all the text content of your Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, as well as different CAD files like AutoCAD, Inventor, SOLIDWORKS, and MicroStation. Another way a user can find documents is using file name or other fields of information, such as project name, project number, title, or a description. From our search card here, a user can do a search on one field or multiple fields and get a list of results. The search card that we just saw, that's related to the data card, which shows you all the fields of information that you as an organization need to track about your documents. Every mm -hmm. ADEPT customer gets to decide what fields they want to track and then lay out the fields on different tabs that make the most sense to them. Some organizations might have a field for title, while others have a field for description, project names, project numbers, job numbers, titles, whatever fields you need, you can easily add them to the data card. Fields can have pull downs that allow users to pick from standard lists. We can also create related or smart fields that allow users to pick a value and update other values based on specific content you might have in categories and subcategories in your organization. Fields can also be linked to the document, creating a bi-directional link so that the information in your AutoCAD title blocks or in your Word document or Excel spreadsheet can be extracted from the document and fill in a field on the data card. And then, when the field on the data card is updated, that information can be pushed back to the document. There's a memo tab here that you can add screenshots, comments, and notes. We also have a thumbnail tab here so a user can see a preview of the file. All the fields on the data card become a searchable resource. And you can create different data cards for different types of users or different types of documents as you need to. In addition to searching for files using search card or, or full text searching, you can also access documents through a folder structure. ADEPT has a couple of different folder structure options. One we call a file guide view. This allows you to access a Windows folder-like structure based on fields on the data card we just talked about. So if a user wants to sort documents by project name and then discipline, we can create a view for that. This will allow users to find documents with simple clicks instead of needing to type in the actual criteria. These file guide views are configured by your ADEPT administrator and you can create as many of these as you need for the different types of fields that you have that make sense to your user community. In addition to working with file guide views, you can also access documents through the library browser. This is where we can see the Windows folder structure that you currently have or whatever Windows folder structure you want to have. ADEPT works with your Windows folder structure to wrap around it. ADEPT secures your documents and unlike other systems, does not rename or scramble your file name or folder structure at all. 
we provide the protection you need without holding your data hostage in a proprietary system. As users click on files, they're always guaranteed to be accessing the latest version of that document. On the version tab, we can see the revision history that is created as documents are checked out and checked in. There's no need to rename the files or embed the revision letter or number in the file name or copy them to another directory. Revision history is automatically created. Also in the document dashboard, we can see reference information that exists between this file and other files. In the lower left hand corner, you can see a tree structure where CAD references are displayed between this reference and other CAD references as well as non-CAD references that might exist between the drawing and a PDF, a picture, a Word document, and all the non-CAD references that you choose to create. This reference information is also reflected on the Children tab, which shows you exactly what version each child is, or the Where Use tab, which shows you the parents a child might have. The Audit Trail tab shows you all the events that have happened to a document in its life cycle and adapt. As documents are checked out and checked in, copied, viewed, renamed, put through any workflow approval process, all these events are tracked and managed. If you're working with any ISO or government standard or have any legal or compliance regulations you're trying to adhere to, this information is fully searchable. So if you're working with an audit process, it can be invaluable. There's also a thumbnail tab that a lot of users will leave active so they can see a preview of the document. Also built into every ADEPT license is a visualization tool that will allow a user to view over 100 different file formats. Both 2D and 3D files. Here I'm viewing an AutoCAD drawing for example. I can zoom in and out. I can also do a markup or a red line giving a non-editing user, someone without AutoCAD in this case, the ability to add comments or notes and participate in an approval process. This will allow you to send information back to a designer or an engineer or maybe a project manager through some sort of a workflow approval process if you need to, keeping an electronic record of those markups or red lines. I mentioned that we can also view 3D files. Let's go look at a 3D solid. Adept's built-in viewing technology will allow users without SOLIDWORKS or other 3D tools to view assemblies, parts, and drawings, like this pump assembly for example. They can rotate and revolve it and create different views within the assembly. The assembly can be exploded. We can also do a cut section to see how it looks internally if we need to. And the same markup capabilities that we just looked at when we were reviewing the AutoCAD 2D file can also be used. As we were talking about the information that is tracked in the document dashboard, we were talking about revisions or versions. I mentioned that the system will automatically create a revision or a version history. If I want to make a change to a file, we check it out. When the file is checked out, that file is put into a work in progress state, creating the next revision. Only one user can edit a file at any given time. I can see now that this file is being worked on by a user named Martin and it's in an out state. All other users still have access to the last version of the document while I work on the most current instance, the work in progress version. The ADEPT workflow engine will allow you to define an approval process. As documents are checked in, those going through an approval process will have a status of review. As you can see here, I have a list of documents in my inbox that I'm reviewing. If I want to see the status of the review, I can look at the workflow tab and see the workflow process. In this case here, this document is waiting for a CAD manager approval step, and then it will move on to the project manager step. This is just an example of a workflow. The workflow engine will allow you to create as many workflows as you need. You can name the workflow anything you want, have as many steps as you need, defining if you need email notifications, who the approvers are for that step, or if you need multiple approvers. 
Really, the goal of the ADEPT workflow engine is to fit around the process you define. When you're ready to approve a document, you just hit the Approve button or Reject as needed. In this case, I'm required to add a comment. Now the document will move on to the next step of the workflow approval process. In addition to working with a web or browser-based interface, users might also interact with our desktop interface. From this interface, the ADEPT administrator can set up security and permissions and decide what access different users and groups have to the documents. ADEPT has four general levels of security to control what users have the ability to do. Users can be viewers. This user is a consumer role, searching, viewing, printing, along with the ability to mark up files. Editor. Now a user can check out and check in and work on different documents that are in an editable state. Workflow Manager. This gives the user the ability to modify workflow processes. And the Document Management level, one step below the ADEPT Administrator, this person can move and rename files and maintain the structure of the ADEPT environment. Also from the administrative screen here, the ADEPT Administrator can easily add additional directories or libraries to the vault. Built into ADEPT are important tools that will allow you to easily batch import sets of documents. In a matter of seconds, I can scan and sync a set of documents, extract out of them thumbnails, attributes from title blocks, properties from Word documents and Excel spreadsheets, as well as extracting reference information. This will quickly import a set of documents. I should also note, everything you see here is out-of-the-box functionality. You don't need to purchase any additional modules. With the purchase of an ADEPT license, you can easily do all the features and functions that you are seeing here. In a matter of seconds, I've imported 25 documents into my vault. I can now go look at those documents. That'll just be another directory in my library browser for me to access. Here are the documents. The documents are now ready for users to check out and check in and start modifying them as needed. ADEPT also has a transmittal feature built in. This allows users to create a cover letter when you need to send out a package of documents for some sort of an internal or external review process. ADEPT can create PDF cover letters that will list all the documents in the package. You can design this form with your logo and whatever fields are needed. Then track and manage exactly what version of each document is being sent out as well as what date and time the transmittal was sent and to who. That's a quick overview of the ADEPT solution. If you'd like to learn more, please schedule a personalized demonstration.